Welcome to Proven Improbable, where we deliver mining insights and bullion sales in the form of physical delivery, offshore depositories, and private blockchain distributed ledger technology. Welcome to Proven Improbable. This is Maurice Jackson. We've had a number of uh, inquiries uh, from you, the subscriber, who we do our show for, to find out what we're doing behind the scenes and some see if we have identified any buying opportunities. And we believe that we have, and we want to share them with you because we have an obligation to you, the subscriber. What I'm going to share with you is not investment advice, nor are we going to discuss the epidemiology of the coronavirus. We're not doctors. We're not scientists. So this is strictly financial. All right. The number one question I receive uh, regarding junior mining companies is, Maurice, why are we being punished uh, regarding our portfolios on the junior mining companies? Number one, they're stocks. When there is a liquidation, a sale in general equities, you're probably going to see the same in your junior mining companies. They're going to get hammered, and they are. But this is not punishment. To me, as a contrarian, as a speculator, it is a reward. I'm a contrarian. If the thesis makes sense, but the price has gone lower, that's called a sale. How are we and what are we doing? It's very simple. We're putting in limit orders via stink bids. So if the price is low and there's a lot of volatility here, I'm putting in a buy order for 90 days at this price. And as this volatility continues, and we believe it will, I should be able to buy some stocks at this price. On a company, on the thesis that I believe in, that's called a sale. I'm getting it at a discount. And I'm just going to come in with a big ladle and scoop these uh, stocks up that I, I view very favorably. Now, when would I sell it's very simple. If the stock doubles, what I do is I typically sell 50 or 33% of my position. I take the currency from that transaction and I reward myself at a minimum with 10% money, which is physical precious metals, which I hold as a savings and insurance uh, plan for my family. Okay, so very clear. This is what we're doing. Now, which companies are we buying? It's another question I'm receiving. That's very simple. You look at our sponsor partners. Those are the companies we're buying. Why? It's very simple. The first and most important uh, virtue and ethos that they subscribe to are you, the shareholders. They have you in their mind when for every transaction that they're doing, we vet these companies very thoroughly. And so we understand the thesis, the management team, board of directors, uh, technical team, management. They have the commercial technical, geological, and business acumen that we're looking for, and they have project portfolios that uh, look very promising. Now, when will we sell those as well is another question, other than if the price moves up, is if the key personnel leave or if the truth machines, which are drills, if the drill results do not come back favorable, okay, then it's time to sell. Now, let me give you some important intel, uh, segueing now here into physical precious metals. Because the general equities have been selling off, we are seeing the highest demand, highest ever, for gold and silver demand. And if you use the ratios as we've been sharing with you for years now, to your advantage, there are some distinct buying opportunities. But here's the intel I want to share with you. Gold and silver demand are at all-time highs. And they're very prudent investments to have. But there is no interest. Let me say this again. Flatline. No interest in physical platinum. So we are active buyers of platinum. I have here before me an example of what I buy. I buy 10th ounce platinum. It is my favorite uh, bullion to hold. Why? I have strong purchasing power in the size of a dime on something that's industrial, precious, and strategic. If you take a look at gold, uh, it is on sale relative to all the currency expansion that is going on by the uh, central banks of the world. So it's on sale and it's on sale relative to the Dow. Nothing wrong with that buying uh, 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 purchase there. The, the, I'm sorry, nothing wrong with purchasing gold. Nothing wrong with that. If you look at silver right now, wow, what an opportunity. Look how many ounces of silver you can purchase right now for one ounce of gold. It's above 100, <clears throat> excuse me, 125 right now. 125 ounces will get you one ounce of gold. That is an, an absolute buying opportunity. But we've, we've had a position in silver for years, so I'm not really focused on silver. And again, this is centric to proven and probable. But platinum, we've been aggressive buyers the last three years. And I want to step back and share why platinum is so important 
we believe, for your portfolio and the potential it presents. So platinum is 30 times more rare than gold, but yet it has utility, and that's important. Something can be rare, but if it has no utility, the demand may not be high. Here, the demand is high. It's used predominantly in the automotive industry, fuel cells for electric cars, combustible engines and diesel engines, and catalytic converters for clean air. It's also used for, it has a high usage as well for uh, a number of purposes, but the other one would be jewelry demand, okay? 78% of all the platinum comes from South Africa. That presents a unique buying opportunity in and of itself because in order for the miners to extract the platinum out of the ground in South Africa, their cost is right around $1,000. Platinum as we speak right now is close to $600 an ounce. That is a deficit that cannot continue and it's been going on for a couple of years. Now, another important uh, uh, aspect of this is that about 10 days ago, there was an explosion at one of the mines in South Africa. And the price at the time when the explosion occurred, which is now going to create a supply uh, deficit as well, the price of platinum was $800 an ounce. It is now $600. So to me, this is a no-brainer. And these, this isn't just Maurice Jackson. Again, I have the privilege, and, and uh, I'm not saying it in a, an egotistical way, but I have the privilege to interview the most respected names in the space. They share with you what they do. Behind the scenes, I speak with them on a regular basis. We're all buying platinum, basically. So the buying opportunity to me is in platinum. Nothing wrong with silver. Nothing wrong with gold. Palladium and rhodium I would not be buying right now. If you recall two and a half years ago, if you go on our homepage and scroll to the very bottom, it says investing in rhodium. If you click on that, there's a video. That video is an interview of me uh, being interviewed in 2017 at the Sprott Natural Resource Symposium in Vancouver. And I was asked, what metals am I buying? And I said, physical silver, physical platinum, and rhodium. Rhodium at the time of that interview, two and a half years ago, was $900. Two weeks ago, rhodium was 13000 Now, I'm going to uh, foot stump. I don't recall too many people in the alternative media, nor any investment uh, platform, you name it across the board, that was touting the value proposition of rhodium. And I feel very comfortable, very confident that platinum will reward me, maybe, if not as equal, it will reward me. And I'm looking forward to to uh, just adding to my position. It's very simple, don't make it complicated. So remember, keep a cool head. You've been watching the videos, you've been educated, you've been informed. Now, as Rick Rule would say, you gotta have the courage and conviction to act. You may have an opportunity here, a once in a lifetime, potentially, if things continue as they are, to make a generational shift, to be a financial steward for your family. This is a unique opportunity that's presenting itself. We certainly hope it, uh, from a health perspective that things don't turn for the worst. But from a financial perspective, this is an opportunity I'm really looking forward to. And I've shared with you what we're doing and what the most successful names in the space are doing. I'm giving you the secrets. I have an obligation to you as a subscriber to share with you what they're doing, what we're doing. Is it guaranteed to work? No, but I like my probability. Hence, proven and probable. As a reminder, I would like to remind you, that uh, I'm a licensed representative for Miles Franklin Precious Metals Investments. To me, the Bentley of the precious metal dealers. We can provide you physical gold, physical silver, physical platinum, physical palladium, physical rhodium. All you have to do is give me a call at 855-505-1900. That number again is 855-505-1900. Or you may email maurice at milesfranklin.com. Again, that's maurice at milesfranklin.com. In conclusion, we've covered the financial aspects of the opportunities that we see before us. But more important than anything, we wish that you and your family remain safe and in good health. Thank you for joining us today on Proven and Probable. The information presented on Proven and Probable is provided for educational and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information is not intended to be and does not constitute financial, investment, or trading advice, or any other advice. You should not make any financial, investment, or trading decision based on any of the information presented without first undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or competent financial advisor.